You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring the scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello, I want to welcome you to Proof Text. Actually, we're specifically looking at uh, doing Grammar Point. And so I, uh, this is part nine on the article. We're, we're, uh, we've been looking at the article, uh, Apollo, Apollonius's, Apollonius's uh, canon, that always throws me off, and corollary. We've looked at uh, Caldwell's rule. And in the last two episodes, we've been looking at Granville Sharp's rule, And uh, this is going to wrap it up. Uh, There's three parts to it because there's a lot to this rule. The basic rule is that when you have an article, personal noun, ke, a chi or ke, and and personal noun. And these are uh, a noun or substantive, I should say, something acting as it. So this is the construction article plus... Personal noun plus ke plus personal noun or substantive. These persons refer to the same entity, the same person. So we've already summarized the rule. We've been looking at examples with nouns, participles, adjectives. These are acting as substantives. Uh, We've looked at some clarification that does not apply to proper names. It uh, the article could be repeated. It doesn't, you know, if, if the article is repeated, it doesn't mean that it's two different entities. Um, the, the repeated article can refer to the same entity. And we also saw that it does not apply to impersonal entities, as in hope and manifestation, which share the same article. Um, so this does not apply to impersonal nouns, but to personal nouns. And then we saw with this example above, that Jesus Christ is considered a great God and Savior. And I think in the example of Ephesians 5.5, you have the kingdom of the Christ and God. Christ is considered God. Jesus uh, Christ is God. So now we're going to look at some other rules uh, or applications of it. For example, it it can apply to personal nouns in certain ways. So Daniel Wallace has extended the rule uh to under various possibilities that that the uh, personal nouns can be distinct overlapping subsets of one another or sometimes identical you know so there's 73 instances of these with 62 being unambiguously fitting to these these categories so you have distinct but united groups so sometimes that article Pharisees and Sadducees can indicate a united uh, grouping, even though they're still distinct, but they're still united in some way. You have overlapping groups. They, they belong together. They have a commonality, but then they're distinct. So they're, they're overlapping, as in Luke 14, 21, the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. So you can see there's a singular article, and then you have the plural forms of those nouns sharing that article. You can have an instance where the first group is a subset of the second group. So uh, certain of the scribes and Pharisees. So uh, the Pharisees was a larger religious uh, group of which there could be scribes in, in among the Pharisee uh, group. Um, or you could say really that the first group could be larger. Like I, I think you had scribes probably among the Sadducees, I think. So anyway, that it's a subset one of the other. Um, the second group, uh, a fourth example, the second group is a subset of the first group, uh, the greedy and the swindlers. So, um, swindlers are a type of greedy person. So obviously these are, these are very closely related. So the article does, the shared article does indicate some close relatedness. And then there are examples where um, they are indeed the same, the ones hungering and thirsting. So here, the article is shared by two uh, substantive participles, and it's referring to the same group, the ones hungering and thirsting for righteousness or justice, Matthew 5, 6. But you do have uh, ambiguous examples um, 
hear. For example, John 140, one of the two hearing John and following him is one from the two of the ones. Is this referring to the same people or to different people? Um, and just to round out the discussion, uh, you can see my Koine Greek grammar, but um, it, this also can be applied to impersonal nouns uh, and, and these same kind of categories. And so Wallace uh, has these categories here. And uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, I hope you found this uh, extended discussion of the article and uh, different constructions helpful, particularly a, a closer look at the Granville Sharps most recently. So uh, hope you're enjoying Grammar Points. And if you have any questions or directions you'd like me to go, uh, let me know. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.